Hey everyone, Seth coming to you from the Kenwood Training Department. Today, we've got our DRV-N520. That's an integrated dashboard camera that allows you to have control from your compatible multimedia receiver. This industry-leading technology allows you to not only have the best of the best in picture quality and playback with control from the receiver, but you also get additional driver safety support functions such as departure delay and forward collision avoidance. Let's take a look at how this works. If this is the first time that you're powering the receiver on, you will see a menu that takes you directly to the camera icon. Select that icon, then select the down arrow, then select dashboard camera slash front camera. This is where you will choose dashboard camera. As you can see, it is already selected. If you had already gone past the initial setup screen, you can easily complete the setup procedure for the DRV-N520 by accessing the menu button, then selecting the setup icon, then selecting the camera icon. Here you will see the same screen that we saw in the initial setup where you can select the dashboard camera as your front camera type. Let's select close. Next, select the cam button in the lower right hand corner. This will bring up the dashboard camera. Select the icon in the lower left hand corner. Then select the settings icon in the lower right hand corner for the initial setup procedure. In this screen, you are able to change all of the settings for the dashboard camera. For instance, we can select the recording settings. This is where we can change resolution adding in our high dynamic range, select close. You can also turn the audio recording on and off as the DRV-N520 does have a built-in microphone. You can also change other settings in this screen. We'll select the back arrow. In the parking recording settings, you can also change multiple settings in this screen, such as the sensitivity. The DRV-N520 does have a G-Shock sensor built into it. Due to it having a constant wire connection, it will power on immediately upon receiving an impact and begin recording that event. You are able to change the sensitivity settings of the G-Shock sensor in this screen. Once a parking recording event has occurred, upon getting into the vehicle after the recording has occurred, you will see a message that is displayed across the screen. Then you can easily go in and review the event. We'll look at how to do that in just a moment. Let's select the back arrow. The system settings is where you can also change things such as the time zone, the date format, the units, and this is where you could also do updates to the system if need be. We'll select the back arrow. Now, if you're going to be using the driver support settings, you must select this icon here, driving support settings, and complete a very short calibration process. Select that icon. This is where you can access the forward collision warning, turning it on or off, or to beep only. When turned on, you will see the message displayed as an overlay across any source that you're on. We'll select Close. Next, Departure Delay Warning gives you the ability to turn it on or off, or just a beep without having that message overlay across the screen. We'll select Close. In this case, we do want to turn both the Forward Collision Warning and the Departure Delay Warning to On. Next, select Detection Range Settings. Here, you will see the horizon line flashing up at the top in blue. If we touch this arrow up and down, you will see that line move. You will want to make sure that that line is set to directly where the sky meets the road, directly at the horizon. Next, we'll want to line it up with the hood. 
select this icon here, and you will see this line start flashing. It even says adjust the hood line. We can move the arrow up or down to adjust that directly to the hood line. Then select the back arrow. Next, we'll select mounting height settings. This is where you show the system how high the camera is mounted from the ground. 1.2 meters, 1.35 meters, or 2 meters. Pick the closest one to where yours is mounted. Then select Close. This completes the calibration process for the DRV-N520. When selecting the cam button, the dashboard camera screen is displayed. At the top of the screen, you will see that it is actively recording. Next to that, you will see the recording resolution. Next to that will be the microphone. Right now, it is turned off as it has an X through it. And next to that, will be the automatic still image capture mode. When selecting the lower left hand icon, you will see a various list of icons that are displayed across the screen. These icons on the left side show you the number of files that are available for recording. Next to that, this icon right here will give you the ability to start manual recording. Next to that will be the still image capture mode, so you can press that to instantly take a photo. And then again, the settings would take us back to the system settings screen for the dashboard camera. We'll select the back arrow. Selecting the three white lines in the lower left hand corner will allow you to go in and instantly review events that have occurred. For example, we could select continuous recordings and then select an event that had occurred. When you are watching this event, you can select the lower left hand icon and you can zoom in closer. You can even move different directions. If you need to find that exact license plate number, the digits of a road sign, whatever it may be, you can zoom in there live to be able to see that information. We'll select the back arrow and then the back arrow one more time. This is where you can also see if you have done any manual recordings, specific event recordings, or as mentioned earlier, parking recordings. When you see that message displayed across your screen that a parked incident recording has occurred, you can simply enter into this screen and then review that parking recording event instantaneously. As the dashboard camera is an integrated dashboard camera designed to be used only with a compatible multimedia receiver and not as a standalone device, it does have some additional convenience buttons located on the camera itself. You will notice that it does have a power button. Hold this button down to turn it on or off manually. By pressing and releasing this, this will enable audio recording to be toggled between enabled and disabled status each time it is pressed. You will also see a recording LED right here. When blue, it means that recording is in progress. And next to that, the microphone. This will light up green when audio recording is turned on. Next to the power button, you will see auto. This allows you to take a photo just by pressing the button instantly. When you press and hold this button, this will allow the still image capture mode to be turned on or off. The DRV-N520 does include an 8 gigabyte micro SD card. However, you may upgrade up to a 32 gigabyte micro SD card if you choose. On the bottom of the camera, you will see a button. Pressing this button will start manual recording. Down here, you will see some perforations. This is the microphone that records the audio. And over here, these perforations behind here, this is a speaker. This is what outputs the voice guidance, warning sounds, and file playback of audio. Thanks for tuning in to the operation and feature highlights of the game-changing DRV-N520 integrated dashboard camera. We'll look forward to seeing you again next time.